Oh, and this is going to be where Lee's parents died. That's so sad, though. Their parents, Lee and his brother. So his brother's a doctor, huh? Find anything? Oof. Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. I still like Carly. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. Hmm. Interesting. We're supposed to be looking for stuff in this alley, right? Move this pallet. Well, Clementine heard that I murdered that guy. So I guess Lee murdered a state senator. That sucks. That's a terrible idea. Sleeping with his wife, though. What's that? It's like this was my dad's cane. cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. <laughs> my dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. door from when we found the keys. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Alright. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? She's so sure. cute. Oh my god. <laughs> She's Here so adorable. Go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? parents do. My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Cool. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why 
why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? <laughs> She's so cute. I hope not. It's just complicated. That's all. Yeah, I kind of want to spare her. You know, it's a first grader. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen, and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. <laughs> Splinter. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Good thing we got a first aid kit in here. I'll find you a bandage. What's this? Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. Hmm. Don't know. Give that band-aid to Clementine. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? Oh, that's not the band-aid icon. A little... Sorry. Not too much. You sure? Yeah. Let's get this. That's the band-aid icon. <laughs> yes, please. Keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Is this the remote? There we go. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Let's see if we can turn it on. That's what I figured. <laughs> Alright, Clementine. Everyone out there seem alright to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. <laughs> yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean... Get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Alright, I think that's all the dialogue. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. So let's go into the pharmacy. It's locked. Oh, dang. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. So, if, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Keys aren't in there. Keys aren't in here. Keys aren't over there. Where are these keys at, though? Uh, Dad told me he bought that TV to watch baseball in here, but I caught him watching his stories more than a few times. <laughs> um, maybe if I try again? Or That's what I figured. What? Where are these keys at, though? Um, they can't be in the first aid kit, right? So. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. All right, maybe I have to go back out. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. I feel like we really? gotta go in there. Oh. Yeah. Uh, You're not bad, right? I. Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No. I'm gonna tell her the truth. He wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? I'm gonna tell her the truth. Yeah. He was. Yeah, I 
don't want to, I don't want to, like, lie to her. So. And since she knows, I guess I should just be straight with her. You know what I mean? Oh, man. Where am I going to find these freaking keys? Where are these keys at? Oh, that's battery. There we go. Oh, but there, I need two batteries for that thing, right? There are more photographs here. Dang. Uh... Hey there. Uh, oh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, we gotta still Somebody's help got Larry to. out, though. Yeah, don't we? I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. All right. Okay. So I still have time to. Oh, sweet. There's another energy bar right here. Don't see any more batteries. Here, have one of these. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It oh. needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Uh, I'll give you the battery. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. So I need to find one more battery. But I guess I'll give her the energy bar then. I'm still looking for batteries. Oh, what? Wait, what? I Thanks. thought it was on Carly. I appreciate it. Oh, here we go. Here. Give her the energy. We'll find it some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Uh. Man, where am I gonna find the rest of this stuff? I still need to find those stupid keys just to get into the... I need to find a way to get into the office. Where are the keys at? idea where these keys are. Oh, I, I guess we should go get Glenn. I don't really like... To be honest, I don't really like Larry or Lily anyways, but, like, I still feel like we should help them because they are a part of the group, obviously, but I feel like we'll just go... I found this remote oh, well, in the no, office, no, no. but I'm pretty I, sure the batteries skip the won't dialogue? Oh, nope, I pressed the wrong button. Sorry. It won't fit. <laughs> it needs the big... Nope, I pressed the wrong button again. I'm sorry. Don't be ones. <laughs> I'm just gonna let yeah, the dialogue play out, even though those... <laughs> just supposed to skip it. Let's go. Hey, Carly. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks. I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, ready to head out? You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. I feel bad because we're supposed to help out Larry, but uh, still don't know if it's worth it.
Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. No, it's gonna be Glenn. Guys! Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Yeah, maybe she'll know how to, like, pick locks or something. Okay, there's an axe over there that I feel like we'll be able to use. That's dead guy. A corpse over here, so we got to avoid that. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's going to be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly, noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. All right, we gotta go grab that axe. All right, guys, I've been like, I've been messing about for a while here, and I, uh, I have no clue what to do, like at all, like, like at all. Wait, what's this? Oh, what is this? A pillow? What? What? What the hell is the pillow gonna do? Smothering them. Yeah, yeah. What am I supposed to do? That's not really what I have in mind. Oh god. Okay. Well, Lee's got a plan. So I'm assuming now we have to go back to this zombie, because these zombies are the ones that we are, are this truck, and then kill this zombie, but use the pillow. How are we supposed to kill this zombie? I bet. Uh. Okay. Pillow icon. Get out your gun. What the noise? Just follow my lead. Stay oh, right gotcha. We're gonna put the gun over the bullet. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. That was sick. Okay. Uh Okay, now there's definitely something in the car. Not push car, open door. Ooh, what's this? Spark plug. the car. Okay. Okay. Let's push the car. I just wanted to check all the directions. I'll run it into that guy? I'll trap him. Gotcha. Awesome. Okay, they're not really okay. The crying is still distracting them. Okay, that still doesn't work. Um, I can spark plug this. I I don't understand. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. Inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Oh, okay. So cut it. That's definitely something they would hear. Okay. No? no? Okay, they didn't hear it. And now the phone's ringing too, which is just splendid. But at least now we have a, now we have a screwdriver. Oh, it's an all. Whatever. Same thing. That could scramble a brain pretty good. Okay. That's exactly what I was thinking. Right. Okay. 
So now I guess we move over here, draw this one out towards us by hiding, by uh, peering over the wall a lot. Or maybe if we peer to the right. Okay, well if we gotta take everything out, then might as well have him see us. Go kill him. I can I can kill that one. All right. There we go. No, you gotta stab him in the brain, dude. There you go. Good job. All right, and now we can go and get these guys. Get a nice patchy here. Stab him too. Stab him in the brain. He left the all in there, which means that we gotta use the hatchet. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> it's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? <laughs> two more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Alright, alright, here we go. This is good. It's gonna be a little intense here. We got this though, right Lee? We can do this. the button. Wow. Rad. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Break down the door, all right. Stop, just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. <laughs> I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Okay, we'll leave. Okay, we'll leave. Yeah. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Oh, God. No, you can't have a gun. We can't let you do that to yourself. No. And do it for me. We need to get no, going. No, I'm not gonna. No. Give it to me, please. This is crazy. Please step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up, please. No, if if it fires. Take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. No, that'll attract yes. everything. Just relax oh. now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. 
That's all just... No, no! no! Shit. Now we gotta run. We gotta run now. Because all the zombies are gonna be coming over here. Oh, way to go, Glenn. Let's get out of here. This nasty dude. Yeah, see, now they're coming. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Nice. Okay, we made it. Whew, Everyone it's just all right? one bullet. Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few canes of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Alright, well now I gotta find, uh, I gotta find those stupid keys. And I also gotta find, like, a battery.